again, Miss Tara here. We're going to do an activity called number patterns. Our mission in this activity is to find the next number using clues from the other numbers. Let's review our numbers 0 through 10 with our fingers before we get started. All right, go ahead and get your hands up. So we're going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, now that those are fresh in our mind, let's continue with our mission. All right, so I have my number, my board here, and I'm going to put one number first. Now this number has a one and a zero. This is the number 10. Our next number, can you guess what it's gonna be? Is a one and a one, that's 11. And then we'll do a one and a two is 12. So now I have 10, 11, and 12. So now we're going to use our clues to figure out what comes next, right? And how we write it. So I'm going to take a look at the first number because these numbers have two digits. They have a line leader and then they have a door handle. So the line leader in this first number is a 1. But if we look at 11, it's a 1, 2. And here's another 1. So my next number is probably going to have a one after a one as its line leader, since my other numbers do. That was my clue. All right, now I'm going to look at the door holder for each. I have zero, one, two. What comes? What number comes after two? Three. One, two, three. There we go. So now I have a number that has a one and a three in it. Do you guys know what number this is? If we didn't, and if we got stuck, guess what we could do? We're gonna count. We're gonna go 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's try one more. Let's see if we can find out the next number. This is a bonus mission. All right. So I know, I'm gonna add 13 here that all my numbers start with which number? What is their line leader? It's the number one. So I'm gonna put a one. Now, let's look at the door holder. I have zero, one, two, three. What comes after three? What number? Four. What number has a one and a four in it? If it didn't come to our mind, guess what we can do? We can go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 has a one and a four. All right, let's try that again with a second set of numbers. I'm gonna make my numbers disappear. All right, let's start with something different this time. We're gonna start with a number, it's got a two and the four, this is 24. Two and a five, 25. And a two and a six, 26. So let's find the next number. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my line leader here. And this time I have all twos. So I'm gonna put a two. And then I'm gonna look back at the door holder. And this one starts four, five, six. What comes after the number six? Seven. So now I have this new number down here. 
and I have to name it. So let's go back. I'm going to go 24, 25, 26, 27. Let's try one more bonus mission. All right. So what number was the line leader for all these numbers? Two. So I'm going to write my two. Now, let's look at the door holder. Remember, I have four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Eight. So now I have a number with a two and an eight in it. Let's see if we can name it. 24, 25, 26, 27. We found 28. Great job. So numbers have lots of patterns in them. And we will continue discovering more number patterns. That was so fun. You guys did an awesome job. All right. Stay tuned for next time. Bye.